thank you for joining me uh, in this video of uh, algorithms made simple series we will talk about a uh, dynamic programming problem which is named as minimum path sum so let's read the problem description first understand it so given m cross n grid of non-negative numbers find sum of numbers along a path that gives minimum sum so top left to bottom right and we can only go down or right so it says that you are given a 2d grid and you have to move from the top left corner first element to the last one in the bottom right and while doing so through all the possible path you have to find we have to find the minimum sum so let's consider the i slash p that is input short form for input and o slash p that is output so let's say we have an input 2d grid we have 1 3 1 1 5 1 4 2 1 so for this array we can check all the possible ways to go from top left to bottom right and find the answer so a systematic way to do it is with the help of a dp array so dp is a temporary variable which is typically i use for all the dynamic programming questions so let's find a dp array uh, grid which is of the same size as the input and here we initialize the first element to be the same as the first element in the input which is one is copied here and next we first compute the first row and first column of the dp array so first row is computed by considering that for reaching to the second element in first row to reaching three we need three plus one four cost which is the here dp so each element of dp represents the cost of reaching that point which is the minimum cost and likewise we will traverse so the minimum cost for reaching the this one one at the end of first row is the one plus three plus one which is five and similarly we do it for the row so the minimum cost for reaching this element this point is one plus one which is two and we write it here two and minimum cost for reaching four here is one plus one plus four which is six and we write here so after putting the values of first row and first column now we will try to see for this element here there are two ways to come here either through one two three and then five or one two three and five so for each of these uh, points we have two possible path which is the top element and the left element so we compare these two and the one which is lowest is considered so here the four and two the the minimum of four and two is two and so we add the two into this value five so the cost of this point becomes seven and now we have next point right here which is one and for this point we have we see that we have seven at the left element and the top element is five minimum of these two is five and we add 5 to this element a grid value so 5 plus 1 is 6 becomes 6 and so now the next element which is not known is the dp corresponding to this 2 so here we consider the top element is 7 and the left element which is 6 and the minimum is 6 lower of 6 and 7 is 6 and we add 6 to 2 and becomes 8 and similarly when we reach this bottom right element we consider the top element the just element just above it 6 or the left one so its minimum is 6 and 6 plus 1 becomes 7 so since dp array is representing the lowest cost to reach each of these points so 7 becomes our answer because we wanted to reach the bottom right point and we know the 7 is the answer and we clearly know that this path is 1 2 3 and then to 1 then to one and then to one so it's one three one 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 and the intuitive way to look at this one this process is let's say I am standing at one now I want I can go down or I can go right so I will prefer the direction which has the least sum across that direction so the sum across first row is three plus one plus one five 
and the sum across first column is 4 plus 1 plus 6 so the column sum is higher so I will prefer the row so I will go from 1 to 3 now I am at 3 I am compute the sum of row and sum of column so row sum is 3 plus 1 plus 1 which is 5 and the column sum is 5 plus 3 8 plus 2 10 so I will again prefer column a uh, row so I go from 3 to 1 now at 1 I can go back as well but the sum here is 3 plus 1 plus 1 which is 5 and the sum of this column is just 3 so I prefer the downward direction and I come to this first a 1 and now for this one the sum of columns is 3 and sum of row is 6 7 so I will prefer a cost low cost path which is downwards and I reach the final point so this is also one intuitive way of uh, getting this path and also the output and other way is to use a DP array which is a temporary variable and very systematic so this was a small example of our problem let's try to look at the solution so this is a python based uh, implementation we have a class solution where we define a function min path sum which is short form for minimum path sum and we have our input grid which is the list double list of list of integers and we have return time which is integer so this shows the minimum sum we have to return it so first let's do the edge case so if there is if grid is empty if not grid we return zero so if grid is empty minimum sum is zero for sure and then we got m to be the m and n to be to represent the number of rows and number of columns in grid and now that we define the dp to be of the same size is the input grid and so dp consists of forming columns of length of forming one row of equivalent to number of columns and then replicating this for each of the rows m rows right so here zero repeated n times and this we do it for all the m rows and now here we are converting the first value of dp to be the same as grid first value which we saw above so here we are making iterating through the first row basically so i is varies from 1 to m and we get all the elements along the first row sorry this um yeah the, all the rows this is the good updating the first column okay and for j in range 1 comma n for all the columns we do the update all the rows so the way we do the get the value of row first row of first column we can do it in any order or is not important here because they don't depend on each other for now we have a nested loop where the i is the row variable goes from 1 to m minus 1 which is implemented with the range 1 comma m and the second variable g is the column variable and this varies from 1 2 3 until n minus 1 and this is handled by range 1 comma n so now what we do we do the same thing which we were practicing above so each dpi comma j is equals to the value of grid at that point grid i j plus the minimum of two elements so the minimum of dp i minus one j so dp i minus one j is the left element in the dp array or dp i j minus one which is the top element so we see two elements in the dp array which are already present the one above the current point and one left to the current point so left one is represented by i minus one j and the above one is represented by i j minus one and we took the minimum of these two so they represent the the path with minimum cost and this minimum is added to the current grid value so this gives the current dp value so every dp values is the minimum summed for that point and we keep doing it until we have covered the whole we have updated the values for the complete dp array and at the end we return the value which is the last value bottom right value which is represented by m minus 1 n minus 1 dp and this is our right answer so this was a very simple question however uh, without the logic for updating the dp array where for for initializing the first row and first column by adding the grid values and then for successive next other elements we always see the top 
and the left element took the minimum of the two which is two here and then add to the current grid value to make same and this logic is very important for correct implementation so anytime uh, you feel that uh, you are losing track of the algorithm you can I, I recommend to pause the video and try to work through this example and once we understand the logic uh, this code is just a trivial thing uh, well for making it more clear I have here the official problem description which can help in further understanding problem however this was a very simple question so this is the example I just talked about and here is the code which I typed in lead code IDE so just in case you are looking for something you can get it from here here I want to say that it's very important to use a meaningful variable names and keep being consistent in using those variable names for example I like to use capital M as number of rows capital N as number of columns and so on and these things uh, make uh, a lot of things clear type uh, helps in avoiding typos and also making s small errors and also to remember how the indexing work in Python and so on so this will program in case uh, you want to copy it or you want the PDF from which I am explaining the solution please comment below this video and if I get sufficient uh, number of requests I might find a way to upload it somewhere so that it, it becomes a downloadable piece um, also uh, I thank some of the viewers to to share some of the feedback uh, from now on was all my videos will be of three steps will be made in three steps so in step one for example here we we first uh, undergo uh, through the algorithm we first understood the algorithm for solving the problem and we go through a numerical example involving that algorithm and we do hand computations and after doing that we understand the, the algorithm and we have gone through one example we go to the programming environment and go through the code and also discuss some of the nuances in the code and which is the second step and the third step I put this the official description of lead code problem that has motivated this video and also pull the optimized solution which I, I wrote in the lead code window and so in this way you get a very clean in case my handwriting is not clear and you're confused about certain things this the third third stage is to help you in getting a clean typed code uh, which can help in uh, fixing any error or typo in handwriting okay so i hope uh, this video was helpful uh, please like our and subs like this video if and subscribe my channels for new improved content um, I'm continuously incorporating the feedback from various viewers in making the future videos and I'm also choosing topics which are likely to be requested or more in demand so if you have a topic which you want me to cover related to science engineering or computer science in general or technology please comment on this video uh, with some um, some description and I, I would like to follow with a new video uh, you can find the link to the official lead code question in the description of this video in case you would like to play with it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care until we meet again.